Good morning, folks. Got key climate science today, a look at past Nova, a look at the tropical systems of Earth, and a closer look at the crackling active region as we start with our star at spaceweathernews.com, and we find the last 24 hours were mostly quiet. Coronal holes dead center, the earthquake makers, and just below the Earth scale on the right is the most active of the sunspot groups, small flares only thus far. The solar wind took a little jolt just before the new day, UTC. With the phi angle flipping, it looks like a switchback in the solar wind that the Parker probe helped identify, but it was a minor plasma event only. Looking at the active region, the multi-spot setup is why it's active. The field arches are set for major interaction, and we're going to see this as the darker carve-outs of plasma around the active region as the arches shift about. Then, as the energy needs to release, it can only go upward. This one at the end of the sequence, the flash, is that release and small solar flare. Once again, the smaller version of what the sun's gearing up for this cycle. Top two quakes yesterday, minutes apart struck Indonesia. Strong events near where both magnetic poles are tracking towards an eventual meeting place. We've got two systems the National Hurricane Center is eyeing in the Atlantic, both set to come in through the island, so we'll have to monitor those for development. Of course, there's a fully developed hurricane just offshore Baja. It does not look like they are going to escape unscathed today. Eyes open at the tip of the peninsula. Our first science link today comes in the form of mangrove loss and why it's being lost. While Southeast Asia shows near-complete human-driven mangrove loss, in places like Australia, India, Cuba, and the USA, it's nature that takes out the mangroves. Brazil takes the top spot in that regard, Turns out, it's nearly all natural mangrove loss there. Quick note, there's a story making a lot of headlines yesterday. It's on NASA's website, a couple universities, and the Keck Telescope site. Folks, this is the cold star story we presented yesterday, and get this, none of yesterday's popular news releases on this story mentioned that among them is the candidate for the coldest known star. Folks, this is the fourth time since our first ever solar micronova video that a past extinction is pegged to supernova or at least increased presence of significant isotopes. The recognition of these events in the past further calls into question some of the dust's origins as it couldn't have made it here. Remember magnetic dusty pinballs. The shock wave lets out cosmic rays but not dust. When they modeled the magnetic fields of the nova event, the dust became imprisoned within the remnant. And that means that the Earth-bound Nova Dust isotopes with too short of a half-life to get here from another star or remain from pre-solar system formation must have come from the Sun. And since they must be made in a Nova event, that means our star is likely on the long period recurrent micro-Nova scale, which they say at different stars could have a cycle from a thousand to a million years. Ours is only about 12,000. Last micro-Nova, about 12,000 years ago. See our Cosmic Disaster movie and playlist on our channel and our website. Folks, we are moving on to the climate to remind everyone of what we end up being able to report every year. I can't remember which universities and scientists said it in the past, but here we are today finding another study suggesting that it's not the heat we need to worry about. The cold is the killer. If only they knew how much of that was coming. And in that same vein, a confirmatory study on climate model failures. If you'll recall, we've seen tons this year already on oversensitivity to carbon, uncertainties, bias, and error propagation. Well, this hits the same vein. And while the authors save face with their peers in saying that the carbon sensitivity is there to some degree, this one, once again, crushes those scariest global warming forecasts that had Greta in a tizzy and politicians ready to shift global policies. It's just not a genuine view of reality especially since it took the record high solar activity of the Holocene and the thousand year volcanic cooling minimum, both in the 1900s, to get us where we are now. Both of those are ending as more cloud forming cosmic rays enter while Earth's magnetic field is weakening, so we have one future temperature trend. We greatly appreciate your support. Just a reminder that our online store, otf.cells.com, is closed the last 10 days of the month. The textbook PDF is available on September 1st only when we reopen. In the description box below this video, on our channel homepage, and at suspiciousobservers.org, we've got more on climate, solar micronova, and the magnetic reversal ongoing at Earth. We've got your wind maps and shots of our star to close, and of course, we'll do this all again tomorrow. Right here, but right now, it's 5.30 a.m. in the new Valley of the Sun. Eyes open. No fear. Be safe, everyone.